What is going on, guys? It's Jake. I'm feeling a little under the weather today, so I'm not going to be in front of the camera, but instead, I'm going to show you all of the new pictures from Koro Koro Comics that came out for Beyblade Burst Super Z. And there is a lot. We're going to take a look at this picture first, which shows off a bunch of new characters and returning characters. Vault is no longer seeming like he's in the limelight anymore. He doesn't seem like he's the main character anymore. So instead it's going to be, I think his name's Aiga, who's in the middle, who owns Zet Achilles. So Zet might be the, like, the star bay now. We also see an older Toko right there. So this basically is confirmed to take place a decent bit in the future. We have Louie and Rontaro uh, returning. Rontaro having like really long blonde hair. And then we also see the owner of Emperor Fornius at the right. He kind of looks like f free mixed with Shu a little bit. Like he reminds me of Shu a lot. Um, so we'll just have to see. But we have the, he is the owner of Emperor Fornius. And I believe his name is Fubuki. So let's move on to the next picture. For this next picture, we have kind of like a Koro Koro spread, which doesn't really, it's not really too much Beyblade, but we do see that there looks like there's going to be a limited edition recolor of Zet Achilles, which is blue and gold. And judging by the 1000, I'm going to guess there's only going to be a thousand available, which is really, really limited. But yeah, it is a blue recolor of Zet Achilles. All right, guys. So next we have kind of like a poster look of a lot of the different bays and we could see them kind of more in action there's not only too much to look at here other than the height of the bays like you can barely see the height of winning valkyrie zed achilles and emperor fornius a little bit and they look really really tall especially winning valkyrie but that just might be the picture we'll just have to see and i believe guys that the actual combo for winning valkyrie is going to be winning valkyrie 12 volcanic so yeah now guys we are going to take a look at the individual bays and their bladers starting off with vault here we see the new redesigned vault aoi and he looks really really cool definitely looks older i wonder if they're going to replace a voice actor for him and make him like have like a deeper voice or whatever um i doubt it but we'll see but he looks he's sporting a brand new more all blue look he he has kind of ditched a lot of the red schemes and it's now like basically all blue um, and his hair I think his hair is different a little bit but other than that he looks a lot older and he's probably gonna be like kind of like the legend character or the character that Aiga kind of looks up to but um, we already saw what winning Valkyrie the layer looks like so not, not really much to see there but now we see what 12 looks like and 12 looks like it has like a really big contact point on each side which is really interesting and that frames can actually still fit in um these discs so that is basically confirmed and the combo for fornius it uses zero which we saw in sprig and requiem which i'll show off later but as you can see their frames can still work um, but i don't really think any of these are coming with frames so who knows if they'll actually keep releasing frames or not and then at the bottom we see what I believe is called Volcanic. And it kind of looks like, I don't know, it kind of looks like a smaller version of Hold. Um, which was on Beast Behemoth. But like a smaller version. So we'll just have to see. Still looks really, really cool. Next here is Emperor Fornius. And to be honest, this bay is, it seems like it's the more... Um, kind of the more basic of all of them its design gives me really big design vibes from the first set of beyblades that ever released it kind of reminds me of you know the non-dual layer bays a little bit um except you know it is going to have metal but as you can see there is emperor fornius and then the zero disc which was on spriggan requiem which is a really really good disc and there's the driver which is called yard i believe and I don't know, it looks it looks kind of odd. Um, it looks like it has a really big chance that if it goes off balance, it'll scrape. But I don't really know what it is or what it's really doing. I'm still hoping that Takara Tomi releases like motorized drivers that actually fit on a normal base and are competitive. I really don't know what that is, but there is Emperor Fornius and the new owner, 
which I believe is Fubuki. And he just reminds me a lot of Shu. Like, he gives me really big Shu vibes, except for the fact that his bay is different and that his hair is blonde. But if his hair was like white, he would definitely be like Shu's little brother or something like that, right? He'd be like Shu's son. But <laughs> he's not. But overall, there is Fubuki and Emperor Fornius. And here, you guys, is who seems to be the main protagonist of the show. We have Aiga, who is like, looks like he's Vault's age to me, or Vault's age in, you know, Burst God. And his combo is Zet Achilles 11 XT. I'm still not sure what XT stands for. I'm sure it says it, but I can't really read Japanese, so I'm not really 100% on what it says. But here's, uh, here, I keep calling him Vault. But here is Aiga. He definitely is really, really reminiscent of Vault. Like, he even has the A on his face, just like Vault had, like, the, the V thing going on. The kind of design that kind of said almost his name or said the letter of his name. But he has that going on. And this is really, really cool, guys. We get to see that 11 is definitely a more balance-oriented disc. And what's really interesting is that if Aiga is, like, the main character of the show then it's pretty crazy because we have a balance type as a new bay which is really insane we have a balance type as the main series bay which i don't think we've ever had because tyson in the original series tyson was the main character and he had dragoon and that was a that was an attack type a left spin attack type actually then we had jenga who ha um, used a attack type and then we had zero g or shogun steel but i'm pretty sure T is an attack type as well. I don't remember what his name is. I don't really think anybody remembers what his name is. Then we had Vault, who is an attack type. But as we can see, Aiga is a balanced type, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, here we see, you know, more of 11. We get to see what 11 looks like. And overall, it looks really, really cool. Um, but I fear, guys, with these bays that they're going to be too tall, um, which could really affect their battles. I don't really know, but we'll just have to see. But this is really, really awesome. I really wish I could read Japanese here and like tell you guys what it said or what it says. But oh, really, really awesome reveal today, guys. There is a lot to see, but we'll just have to see, guys. So overall, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a big old thumbs up and just so much new info, guys. Really, really awesome. But I'll see you guys next time. Have fun and bay away.